adductor lurch or gluteus medius gait. During mid stance, the adductor muscles about the hip on the weight bearing side must contract to prevent the opposite pelvis from tilting down excessively. This increases the pressure across the hip joint to more than that of just body weight and may result in increased pain in the presence of pathology about the hip. As Columbus was able to balance an egg on its end, theoretically one can shift their center of gravity over the hip joint and balance the body weight on top of the ball of the femoral head, thus eliminating the need for muscle contraction and reducing the total force on the hip. This results in a lateral shift of the trunk greater than one inch and is known as an abductor lurch or gluteus medius gait. Weakness of gluteus medius muscle activity, such as in polio or an L5 nerve root lesion, may also be compensated by using the abductor lurch. In my experience, however, where pain is not involved, the patient tends to have a Trendelenburg gait. Instead of the trunk and pelvis shifting laterally over the leg in the stance phase, in the Trendelenburg gait, the patient allows the pelvis on the opposite side, that is the swing through side, to sink excessively below the horizontal, giving rise to the so-called Trendelenburg gait. 